Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to check your spreadsheet for duplicate entries. This is a very important data cleaning step that you're going to do with every single data set before you dive into the analysis. So let's get started. This is a demographic data spreadsheet that I have on program participants. I've got ID numbers, their genders, the date that they started the program, and a lot of other variables over to the right. So first off, to check for duplicates, let's just sort the data. So ID numbers A to Z. And if you only had maybe 10 people in this data set, you could just scan it uh, very, very easily and you know just manually check for duplicates. But as you'll see, this is a larger data set. We've got a few hundred people in it. And it would be even harder to check for duplicates manually if you had a few thousand or maybe 20 or 30,000 people in your data set. Yep. Okay, so there are two ways to check for duplicates. The first is with a pivot table, and the second is with conditional formatting. So with a pivot table, all that you do is you insert a pivot table. So we're going to click on the upper left-hand corner of our table, go to Insert, click on Pivot Table, click OK, and now we get a new sheet right here with our pivot table. This is our list of variables. Every column in the previous spreadsheet is its own variable, so we're just going to drag ID down here to Row Labels and you can grab any of the other demographic variables, let's say gender, and put it in values. This isn't a perfect way to check for duplicates, but it does help with eyeballing. So you can see this person right here, the ID number that ends with 81, they've got two entries for gender, which means we actually have two rows in our data set for this person. A nice thing about pivot tables, though, is that you can double click on the entry like this, and you'll get another sheet, so now we've got sheet 5, and it pulls out those two entries. So for this ID number 81, we can see um, that this person was indeed entered twice. It looks like the same person with the same um, program start date and everything. So then what you'd have to do is go find person uh, 1126481 in your spreadsheet here and delete them or merge the records and figure out which one you need to keep. Another way to check for duplicates is through conditional formatting. So conditional formatting is a way to color code some text um, by filling the cells, making the actual font text a different color, making things bold, um, and it's a nice visual kind of way to scan with your eyes and find duplicates. So let's highlight the entire column A here. Make sure you're on the Home tab go over to the conditional formatting icon. We're going to highlight the ones that are duplicates. I'm going to turn them red and just go down to the bottom where it says duplicate values. You have a few options here of what type of color coding you'd like to do. I like the red on red color coding. It's really easy to find as you scroll through. And you can actually see before I even click OK that we've got some duplicates right here. Let's click OK, and then all I would do is I would scroll through the data set. We can see that set, uh, and I'm just scanning for duplicates. There's another set right there, and there's another set there. And as you find them, you need to decide um, you know, what to do if you're just going to delete one of them entirely or merge them. And here's what I mean, so we'll look at this guy right here. One of the entries, we've got his race and ethnicity, and for the other entry, we've got his city and county where he lives and his country of birth. So I'm just going to make one master entry. And then you could just delete the second one, the duplicate, and look at how the red goes away instantly because it's no longer a duplicate. And when you're done cleaning up your data set, just to make it perfectly clean and neat, you want to remove the conditional formatting when you're finished. So you highlight that column again, and you can clear the rules, either from the selected cells or from the entire sheet. I'll just click on selected cells. Okay. 
Well, there you go. That's how to check your spreadsheet for duplicate entries. If you'd like to look at this exact spreadsheet, you can download it for free on my website. Just go to ankemory.com and the Excel file is available for you. Thank you.